Hello everyone, my name is John Quixote, and once again today we are playing Stories, The Path of Destinies. Now, last time we came up here we had a choice between uh, going to the Nexus and uh, just taking the fight to them. Now, I'm not sure which one would be the better option to do, honestly. I thought I did last time, but the more I thought about it is... Are these the same scientists that were already destroyed last time? That were already killed by the ravens? Uh, oh yeah, and as always, link in the description <laughs> for the game if you find it interesting. You know, I, I can see the back the backlash of doing this one. This one though, I'm not entirely sure. Let's try it. Let's do it. As the Farfarer made its way toward the Nexus, Renata could see tiny sparks in the blackness that was the Iblis Stone. As if, somewhere, within it, the core was still spitting out energy, which the Iblis Stone sucked in hungrily. You'd think the stone would want this kind of power, wouldn't it? Thought Renato. Well, the scientists would explain it all. Okay, this, this... I don't know. We're gonna see. Back in a sec. See? He'd trusted his gut, and it had worked out. That's what it meant to be a hero. To ignore the naysayers and the odd makers, and do what you knew was right, and have it turn out to be the right thing. Now well, he wasn't worried. Once he got to the observatory, the scientist toads could explain it. Then he could carry the war into the enemy's camp and destroy them all. Oh dear, he was getting a little bloodthirsty, wasn't he? I think I chose wrong. I'm pretty sure I chose wrong because I'm pretty sure that scientists are dead. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, we don't we don't have any uh skill points to put out right now. So there was an inscription on the platform. Let's head forward. Balaleka lessons with an address. Alright. Yeah. Well I, I <laughs> I already know where the. I don't know. Maybe, maybe since this is a different path, maybe they haven't died yet. I don't. I don't know. I seriously. I, I have a feeling though. They're they're going to already be dead. Sometimes, they're not a really hated inanimate objects. <laughs> I still haven't figured out whether or not the narrator is like mocking us in this or. Or what exactly? <laughs> I, uh... Actually, I don't need any health. I don't need any rejuvenation, so I don't know why I'm still smashing those. All right, so let's just and we're yeah, we're back from over there. Okay. All right, so we go up. And we stay there! And we stay there! I don't know what I'm doing. All right. I wondered if his future self had commissioned these poles. <laughs> Knowing what we know about Renardo, that is very possible now that we think about it. At least now that I think about it. I need to stop lumping y'all in as though, uh... Because I don't think y'all want to take responsibility for my thoughts. <laughs> All right. Did I get? Oh, okay, I did get. Ah, okay, I thought I fucked up there. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You flambird. Cause you know it's a it's a flaming bird, so it's a flambird. 
Actually, I'm assuming it's a Raven Mage. I mean, it might not be. It might. Renato had no. never felt better in nope. his life. I'm not gonna Normally, make this mistake. Normally, would wear him down, and he would need a night's sleep. Now he felt like he could go all night and all day. He felt like people were cheering him on, and he could practically hear their applause as he slew one raven after another. I don't know how loud that is. <laughs> trying to applaud Renardo. You know, at least he actually feels like someone's applauding him. But yeah, I recognize this area now. Because that was the damn chest I left behind by accident last time. Alright, come on, come on, come on, Camellia. There we go. Okay, no, never mind. I, th I thought I had taken a couple hits last time. The um, Iblis Stone and the Skyripper Core. Two artifacts from the time of legends. Bernardo was becoming a legendary hero, wasn't he? He had enough power to save the rebellion, but he had to understand this power so he would not misuse it. Ah, understanding the power is overrated. Like I said, I'm... I want to go over there. How do I go over there? Damn it. Okay, yeah, I remember this. Oh, oh, yeah, because I, I, I was an idiot last time on this. I was trying to dodge back and forth between the, the fireball... Turned out I didn't have to do that at all. I could have just done this. Ah, oh, shit! Fears. Easy to dodge, but why did they sting if you didn't pay attention? Yeah. Kind of like I just did. What the world? What? Some people were just liable what? to explode if you upset them. Wait, what? Watch out for explosive ravens. When hit or thrown, they will explode after a few seconds. Use them to your advantage. Okay, let's uh, run away. Okay, well, didn't really use them to my advantage, did I? <laughs> let's just get these guys gone. <laughs> nope, nope. Oh crap. Just explode. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, well, I, I'm not doing very well with using them as, uh, as weapons. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is there a way to get over there? I want to know what's up with that teleportation thing that... That's always over there. Come on. Let's see. There we go. Full health. I keep on forgetting I can do that. Oh, they really <laughs> ought to put a railing on this thing, he thought. Well, you can't fall off. You're not going to fall off. Okay, we made it down here to the door. Oh, it doesn't look all destroyed this time. So this might have actually been the proper course. Okay. Yeah, I just remember last time it was destroyed. Huh. Maybe because we didn't capture Zenobia. The toads at the observatory measured the stone with their occult devices. I fed it the core of Sky Ripper, explained Renato. No more Fede Palen souls. But the core is not an unlimited energy source, said one toad. Another oh. said, There's a feedback loop, you see, which could overload the stone. Yeah, the stone doesn't actually feed on souls, claimed a third. But on pain of killing another sentient being, if you can truly be at peace with yourself, it would not overload. This was all very confusing. At peace? 
Yes, the mountains were peaceful and quiet, but he now had the power to turn the tides. He should report to the Rebellion Council and prepare for the decisive battle. Huh. At peace, yes, that almost makes sense. The core was protecting Renardo, uh, Renardo, Renardo from the. The core was protecting Renardo from the Iblis, uh, Iblis Stone. Stark influence, but too much killing would overload it. He had to find inner peace to maintain balance. But overloading the core did not sound reassuring. Maybe Renardo could try to find peace real quick, then go back into the fray in time to save the rebellion. To the mountains he would need to go. Or we can, uh, at peace? No, the rebellion depended on him. But finding peace takes time, and the rebellion was running out of time. Renardo had to focus on the mission. He had to save the rebellion while there was a rebellion to save. To the rebellion base now. Hum. <sighs> huh. Not sure. Now, I think I think I have my choice. It's not gonna be like last time where it's like, oh, I wonder. Cause see, I was proven wrong. I was proven wrong last time about the whole scientist, or this time about the whole scientist, because I thought maybe they were gonna be destroyed. But no, they they were still they were still there. They're still good. All right, so let me know down in the comments which one you choose, whether or not you'd go to the mountains to uh, seek peace. Or if you would go ahead and rush into the battle and uh, <coughs> try to say the re rebellion. Now remember, this one you might, you know, it might overload it. This one you might run out of time. So which one would you choose? So like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day and bye!